Hello friends, welcome to the core foundations of our software and you can recall that in the last couple of lectures we are trying to learn different types of uh, manipulations with the string and uh, we had learned earlier that how you can join different strings using the paste function and then how you can split them using the string split function and now in this lecture I will try to continue on the same lines and we will try to learn some other types of operations, very small operations which are related to the string manipulations and alphabets. So, I will try to take here couple of examples and through those examples I will try to explain you that how these small functions are working when we are trying to deal with different types of characters and strings. So, let us try to begin the lecture and try to understand that what type of commands are we going to learn in this lecture. Okay, so, the first function which I want to explain you here this n c h a r actually you see many times what happens that you are writing a statement or a string and you want to count that how many characters are there right. For example, if you try to recall that when you are trying to work with some word document like as in the MS word and when you are trying to write something then on the left hand side in the bottom you always get how many characters you have used, how many words you have used etc type of information. So, that type of information how you can obtain in the R software. For example, if you are given a statement and you want to count that how many characters are there then how are you going to use it right. For that we use here the option or the function here say n c h e a r which is simply the short form of the say number of characters. Right. So, what it does? It takes the character vector inside its argument and tries to return vector whose elements contain the size of the corresponding elements which are inside the x. Right. And similarly, we have here one more function here n z c h a r and the difference between n c h a r and n z c h a r is that n c h a r this gives us the output which is numeric and this command n z c h a r is they gives us the output in terms of true and false. So, what it does actually you see whenever you are trying to write something the string can be empty or the string can have some characters. So, this n z c h a r command helps us in finding out if the elements of a character vector are non empty strings or not right if they are not empty string or they are empty string then it will try to indicate it using the logical output true and false. Well, let us try to take some example and then I will try to show you that what is the difference between the use of these two functions. But before that when you are trying to use this function here n c h a r then how to use it you write n c h a r then within the parenthesis you have to give the string in which you want to count the character and then you have couple of option for example it is here c that is a type to so, this type is a character string and it gives you a partial matching to one of the option like is here bytes, characters or say width right and yeah so you have here different types of option well I am not going to take here all the option because this is a very simple command which you can understand but I will leave it up to you that you try to use this a different types of option and try to see what it gives right ok and then after this here we have a function here allow n a. So, it is here a double l o w capital n a. So, this is also a logical variable true and false and as the name suggests that whether you want to allow the n a values or not in the output that you can control from here. Similarly, you have here one more option here keep n a k double e p is in lower case alphabet and n a is in the upper case alphabet. So, it is also a logical variable and it, uh, it tries to answer the question should n a be written when x is n a right. So, I will try to show you these options and other type of outcome through the example. So, let us try to consider here a string say r cos 24.07.2022 this is my string you can see here these are my double quotes and I want to count here that how many characters are used in this string x. So, I try to write down here n c h a r and inside the parenthesis I simply write down here x and you can see here how it is trying to give us the value. So, please try to count how many characters are there say here 1. Now, suppose I am now 
confused whether I should include here the blank space or not. So at this moment I say okay blank space should not be counted so I am skipping blank. Later on we will see whether the R is counting the blank space or not because as I always say towards the end that you have to understand how the R is working. So this is my here first value R then C is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And so now you can see here there are here two blank spaces which are also to be counted. So this will give you the number 19 here. So the rule here is this, this command NCHER, this is also counting the blank space and obviously they are inside the double quote. So this is a whole string. So blank space is automatically going to be counted as a one of the character. Similarly, I try to take here one more example and, and I try to write down here number of participant colon and then 25. So let us try to first count that how many numbers are there and now you know how to count it. So this is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then blank space is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and then blank space 24, 25, 26 and you can see here this is here the outcome of N C H E R and inside the parenthesis I give here Y. Right. So you can see here it is simply trying to count the number of characters in the string right and similarly if you try to use the command here nzchar on the same variables then let us try to see what it does right so its output is going to be either logical true or logical false right so if you try to see here in this string is there anything which is empty no we, you already have count that it has 19 characters and the same here is in the y also there are 26 characters so how it can be non empty so when you try to use the same statement x and y here as you used earlier the outcome of this n z c h e r and n z c h e r y that is going to be true this means the vectors are non empty yeah after that i will try to take an example where i try to take a empty vector and then i will try to show you what it gives right so this is here the screenshot of the same outcome so first let us try to see how the outcome will look like in the r console so let me try to take it here x here is like this and let me try to take here y here is like this so you can see here x is this and y is this and then i try to use here n c h e r x this is here 19 and if I try to use here and Z CHAR, this is true. And similarly, if you try to take here the N CHAR in the Y, that means the number of characters in the Y, this is giving you here 26. And if you try to use here N Z CHAR, it is giving you here true. Right. So you can see that it is not very difficult to use these commands. And yeah, many times in the data manipulations and when you are trying to do different types of operation, they actually help us. So now I try to show you here that how this NZ CHAR command will work if there is an empty argument. Right. So let me try to take here first an example where I am trying to take here three strings, apple, banana, k, our popular example. So these are three characters which are stored in the data vector here x and this is here x and if you try to see here if you try to use here n z c h e r x it is giving you here true 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 this is obviously apple has how many characters one two three four five banana has how many characters one two three four five six and cake has one two three four so definitely they are non-empty so it is trying to give here this true and true for apple banana and cake respectively right that means each of the string is non-empty now you see how do I modify the same example. I try to take here the apple, I try to take here the cake but for the banana I drop it. But I simply try to write down here only double quotes and there is no blank space also. That is what you have to keep in mind. If you try to give the blank space then it will give you that the string is not empty. Now if you try to see here this is your here outcome. First is here apple then it is here blank. Blank means nothing and then it is here cake but since you are you have given here double quotes so that means it is going to be a string means if you don't give the double quotes then it is uh, taken only here as a blank space so that is the reason 
that now you have created a string which is blank and then if you try to use here nzchar it will give you here true false and true so this true is correspond to here true to here apple which has five characters then false here is like this because there are no characters so there are zero characters and then you have here four characters in the cake so it is corresponding to true so this is the utility of this nzchar right so let me try to show you first this operation on the r console so that you can understand and you are confident okay so if you try to see here like this so if you try to see here n z c h e r this is here x this is here like this true and if you try to simply use here only n c h a r see what it gives it will give you that there are five six four values right so similarly now i try to modify my here this x and you try to see what i'm trying to do here i'm simply to delete all the values and i have only here just these two double quotes right now this is and i suppose i try to write down here as say y so now if you try to find out here what are the n z c h a r inside this here y you can see here this is giving you here true then false and then here true and if you try to use here the command here n c h a r y this will give you here 504 so you can see here now this has zero character so it is trying to give you a reply in terms of the logical false but the more important part is that you have to understand how to interpret the result right so if you try to see here now i try to give you here some more example that how you can count the numbers and the or the characters so i have shown you here that if i try to take the string here as a apple banana cake then n c h a r is going to give you the outcome 564 so 1 2 3 4 5 5 alphabets or five characters in apple banana 1 2 3 4 5 6 characters in banana c a k e cake it which has four characters so this answer is coming here as a 564 now similarly if you try to take here three numbers 2 4 and 6 what do you expect what the command n c h a r over this y will do it will give you the answer here 1 1 1 that means it is here one character one character and one character so if you try to see it is not trying to read the number but it is trying to read the number of characters similarly if you try to modify this example and try to take here these three numbers such that they are 11 222 and 3333 such that the first this 11 has two characters the second number 222 it has three characters and 3333 it has four characters so if you try to operate your command here n c h a r over here z it will give you here 2 3 4 right so 2 in 11 3 in 2 22 and 4 in 3 3 3 3 now in case if you try to take here any the number with decimal point then what happens so you have to remember that the decimal points are also taken as a character so if you try to take here this data vector where i have taken here these three values so the first value is here 1.1 this is a 1 2 and 3 so the number of characters in 1.1 is 3 then my next value is 2.22 so in this case 1 2 3 4 so i have four characters in 2.22 and similarly here in 3.333 it is 1 2 3 4 5 there are five characters in 3.333 and if you try to see here the outcome of this n c h a r over z one which is the this vector here it has the outcome 3 4 5 and this is here the same outcome which i will try to show you on the r software right now so before i try to move forward let me try to show you these things over here so let me try to yeah so although i have shown you but still i will try to show you here n c h a r over x so this is going to be here 5 6 4 now if you try to take here a data vector of some number 3 5 and 7 it will be your here uh, if you try to see the number of characters in y will be here 1 1 1 and if you try to modify that uh, first value is 3 second value becomes here 5 5 two digit and third value become here suppose five digit i mean 7 7 7 7 now in case if you try to see your here n c h a r y this will be here 1 2 and 5 so there is one character in 3 two characters in 5 5 and five characters in 7 7 7 7 7 right so this is the outcome here now in case if you now try to convert these numbers into some digit with decimal point like a 3 Six fifty-five point. See here, seven six and seven 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 point. See here, eight nine. And then if you try to see here and uh, see here why. So this will be your here. See here, three five and eight. So there are one two three and then one two three four five and then one two three four five six seven eight. So this is here the outcome three five eight. Right. So these are very simple operation by which you can count the number of characters in any string or any number. Now after this, I try. 
try to give you here one more operation which is related to the alphabets and that is a very simple operation that suppose you have some characters or some strings which are based on some alphabet and you want to change the lower alphabets into upper case alphabet or say upper case alphabets into the lower case alphabet and if you try to see if you have used the software like ms word then if you try to see on the left hand side on the top there is one option here where there is an option like something like this say small a capital a etc and it gives you here different option change to lower case change to upper case change to sentence case etc so similar type of operation many times are needed when we are trying to deal with different types of strings and particularly when you are trying to prepare a format for generating a report these types of operations are sometimes needed for example if I take a very simple example suppose five people are trying to prepare a report and you want the headings should be in the capital letters now suppose different people have used different formats somebody has used the sentence case like as the first alphabet as in the capital letter and all other remaining in the lowercase alphabet or somebody has used only the lower case somebody has used the upper case etc so if you want to generate the report which is uniform for all then you can simply use here this type of command so whatever characters are there they will be converted into either lower case or to the upper cases so how to get it done this is i would like to show you with the command this two lower t o l o w e r and two upper t o u w p e r so all in lower case alphabets they are written so as the name suggests two lower that means whatever is there try to convert it into the lower case alphabets right so this two lower what it will do it will try to convert all the lower case alphabet means if you try to give any string and if it has any characters in the upper case all the characters are going to be converted into the lower case and similarly this command here two upper if you try to give any string here in the x which has suppose some lower case alphabet so they are going to be converted into all upper case alphabet right and yeah so the first question also comes in the mind that if there are some numbers like as non-alphabetic characters like as symbols or numbers then they will be remain intact they are not going to be changed so let me try to take here some example and try to show you the application of these two commands so let me try to take here this first example where i try to take here a string our course will start from 24.07.2022 so you can see here this is here in capital letters whereas everything here is in lowercase alphabet and after this i have here numbers or some special characters now when i try to use here this command here two upper all in lowercase alphabets and i write here x inside the parenthesis then you can see here what will happen r is already in the capital letter so it will remain as as upper case and but all other letters they are going to be converted into the upper case you can see here and these numbers they will remain intact as such now similarly i try to take here one more example and i try to take here here a string z in which i'm trying to write indian institute of technology and all are written in the upper case alphabets now i try to use here the command here to lower t o l o w e r and inside the parenthesis i write the string here z you can see here now everything is converted into the lower case alphabet right you can see here so this is how this actually works right so if you try to see this is here the screenshot of the same outcome and let me try to first show you these operations on the r console so that uh, you can be here more confident so i try to take here see here x here say like this and if i try to see here say two upper and here x you can see here everything is converted into mis upper and in the same if i try to take it here to lower then what will happen you can see here that only r is in the upper case alphabet so this will also be converted into a lower and rest everything was already in the lower case so it will remain as such and similarly if i try to take here this next example where i'm trying to take here z which is in the upper case alphabets and if i try to see here to lower see here z and now you can see here everything is converted here like this right and in case if you try to use here see here two upper and then i you try to use here the same command which you have obtained say two lower and here z you can see what happens this is converted once again into this thing yeah first you are trying to lower case and then you are trying to do the upper case so this is quite obvious right so okay so now we come to an end to this selector and you can see that in this lecture we have considered a very small operations which are very useful also when you are trying to generate 
different types of reports and you want to make such a small operations so they can be done automatically using this uh, uh, simple functions so now once again you try to see that what uh, are the areas in which you can use such commands so i'm sure that you are working in somewhere either as a student or as a professional and you might be needing these types of operations in your uh, uh, work so try to see and then try to practice it that what really happens when you are trying to experiment with these operation so you try to practice it and i will see you in the next lecture till then goodbye